Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal and today i got another car boot sale haul for you. Got some really, really nice interesting pieces, all antiques, collectibles and vintage items. Um, stay tuned, find out what I got and what they're worth. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So state your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, welcome back guys. We're gonna start off with an absolute quirky little piece. Now, I've got a 1930s, 1940s cast iron doorstop in the form of a golfer. And just look how he's dressed. It's absolutely stunning the way he's dressed. Really nice hand-painted golfer. You know, you gotta turn it over, you can see the age and the way on the back and the underside. Now, really, really nice golfer, nice doorstop, it's saleable, everybody loves golfing, well, I say everybody, a lot of the uh, wealthier class love golfing, that's for sure, uh, so a really nice item, I paid £2 for that in Bessemer Road, £2, it's got some chip into the uh, paint, the enamelling and that, but it all adds to the character, it's got an absolute stunning look to it, I absolutely adore the look, you can see the chip in there on the top of the heart and that, Really, really nice piece. This bit of rust in that doesn't really affect it at all. It's on the underside. But yeah, absolute stormer of a little buy for £2. I love it. Let's have a little look what they sell for on eBay. Now, as usual, all I've searched is cast iron golfer doorstop. That's all I've searched on highest price. Now, you can see the highest one on eBay is £257. And then they start coming down. Now I've no doubt they're going to come all the way down to two or three pounds, but this is such a really nice uh, doorstop, vintage doorstop that I got. I don't see it at the sort of money I see it at about twenty-five or thirty pound. Um, but for two pound outlay, guys, it's going to go up for probably twenty-five or thirty pound in my shop here, and I doubt it'll be around long. In fact, there it is there very similar to the one I got if not identical and they want 41 so yep that is the identical one looking at that stay still here. there he is yep that's the identical one and they had asked 41 pound 17 with 12 well, 13 pound postage sorry guys um, so all in all that's roughly what they're asking for on mine uh, some really nice uh, buys. Now I've looked on Sol listings and there isn't one like I've got on the Sol listings. Most of these are reproduction. Um, but a couple of nice looking ones. But these are, as I say, all brand new. So that's where we're at. It's going to be a £30 uh, in my shop, guys. For £2, that's not a bad little markup. Already off to a cracking start. Next piece we got is an absolute corker. Look at that. What a chunky bracelet. Stunning. Now, there's no charms on it. They would be full of charms. Um, I'm assuming it would be a charm bracelet. Now, this is 9 carat rolled gold. Now, it's not the same as solid gold, but it's not gold plated either. It's rolled gold. So, it's 20 microns rolled gold. So, 20% of this will be 9 carat gold. Um, this cost me £10 and I can tell you now, I'm going to show you that some of the prices roll gold pulls now but on average roll gold is a pound a gram and if I get my scales out you're not going to see it by there but I'll, uh, I will when I put show you the eBay prices in a minute this is 45 grams on the nail literally 45 so realistically that should be a minimum of £45 so for a pound a gram, I'm happy enough with that, you know, to sell. Uh, Ten pound I paid. To be honest, it's a fair price. I buy rolled gold on car boot sales all the time for a pound and two pound because people do automatically just say it's rolled gold. It's like gold plating. 
but have a look at the prices on Roll Gold now online, guys. Okay, what I've done here, I've done two searches. I've searched Roll Gold bangles and Roll Gold bracelets. There's all different sorts of stuff, but I wanted you to look at just bangles and bracelets now to begin with, just so you could have an idea. So you've got a lot of these solid bangles here, £125, one fifth nine carat roll gold. So one fifth of the weight will be roll gold, which is very similar to what I got, which is 20%. And they had 125 pound, 124, 102. Now this is all roll gold. This is not solid gold, guys. So don't think for a second that, in fact, I'm gonna click on one of them just so you can see uh, the price they're paying for roll gold. Let's go to original listing. Um, should have the weight on you. Now it is 32 grams right there. And they sold it for 102 pounds. So they actually had three pound a gram for rolled gold. That is a really good price for rolled gold, guys. I normally get a pound or two a gram for rolled gold. So there we have the identical thing to what I just bought. 46 grams. Minus 45 grams, roll gold, I paid a tenner. If I get anywhere near that, I know the lady, I'll, uh, I'll probably uh, buy a few bits off her that I don't need, to be honest with you, to repay the uh, favour. But, uh, yeah, I didn't expect that type of money. But if I can achieve that, then happy days, I'm over the moon. Wow. Anyway, um, coming across, let's have a look at the bangles and that again. Nine, job lot and nine, with metal cores, mind. Roll gold bangles. 255 roll gold guys does sell it's not solid gold it's not nine carat it is rolled but don't mistake that for plated now if I can show you on here hopefully it'll uh, focus in you can actually see tell you what I'm gonna splice a photograph in in a minute for you guys just so you can see where, where it says roll gold Well that one was a nice pleasant surprise, to be honest with you I didn't expect it to be anywhere near that sort of money, so I'm really really pleased. Now my next item is a group of items. Now I bought not one, but two little pigs, I'm having a run on little pigs at the moment, and I had, let me put them back. All in perfect condition. I left the damaged ones there. We have a dolphin. And we have a small, well I say small, we have a terrier. Now this is all pottery by the, it's called Blue Mountain Pottery. And it is a Canadian pottery. So obviously comes from Canada. And I'm going to show you the prices it pulls now. It's not marked anything at all. It doesn't carry a mark. I don't know whether it had paper labels or what, but you see this stuff around big tall swans, things like that. Now, somebody turned up at the car boot sale the other day with these and a few others, a pound each. What can I say? Over the moon. Have a look at the prices. They don't pull fortunes, but there's a really good earner at a pound each. I got four of them for four pounds. So have a little look at these guys. Canadian Blue Mountain Pottery. Okay, so we're gonna start here. A Blue Mountain Pottery Moose, 70 pounds, guys. A pair of large hippos, 70 pound. Polar bears, 57. A jug, 50 quid. Well, you can see the prices yourself. I don't need to call them all out. That looks West German to me, not Blue Mountain, but okay. There we have a dolphin, very similar to what I just showed you. 39 buffaloes. Somebody put an entire collection of it on there for 30 quid. That was lazy and stupid. Because look at the monies they pull in individually. You shouldn't really sell a job lot like that and just get rid when you can sell them individually. And again, somebody over there has done a job lot, which was a bit silly. The prices they pull in individually are really good. You don't need to be giving them away as a job lot. I'm looking to see if any pigs now are on you. The 
pigs are my favourite to be totally honest with you. Cat there, twenty pounds. Tiger, lion rather. So there we have it. I have no interest whatsoever in putting them on as a job lot. I'm going to put the pair of pigs on for £35 a pair. I'm going to put the dog and the dolphin on for £20 each. So all in all, that's going to return me, you know, after I take an offer or so, about £50, £60 pound, um, for £4 outlay. Again, really, really good markup. You know, it's really good gear. There's nothing wrong with it. It came in at a pound a piece, really cheap, and I'm over the moon. Next piece come in off one of my regular dealers or suppliers. I had uh, I done the video um, a couple of days ago where I showed you all the 18th century drinking glasses. They come off the same buyer as this piece here. Now what we have here is probably a 1950s flashed ruby glass. Now by that what I mean is they blow the vase in clear glass, then they dip it in this flashed glass, then they cut it back to reveal the underlying uh, clear which gives you the pattern so it's bohemian crystal and it is ruby flashed glass with a really nice uh, scene on there I don't know what this building is here but it looks quite nice so real nice it's not signed nothing but um, a really nice bit of ruby flash glass for three pounds we'll have a little look now online in just a moment but what's going to make this is all the engraving, the pattern and all the rest of it. And it's just a really decorative vase. And for £3, I'm over the moon with it. If you look here, you've got a beautiful image of the bird flying over the fence and the trees or bushes. It's really nice. No chips, no cracks. What more do you want for £3, guys? I already know what it's going to be selling for, but we'll have a little look now. Stay tuned. Okay, all I've done here is search Bohemian Ruby Glass Vase, because a lot of people list it as Ruby Glass rather than Flashed Glass, because it pulls up more um, search traffic. So you can't count these lusters. They are really nice and early. But this is the type of thing we have here. Um, Ruby Cranberry Vases, they've put them down. Bohem they haven't got a clue. They've got German, they've got Bohemian, uh, they haven't got a clue what they are to be totally honest with you, but they still achieved £87. I'm looking for something similar to what we got. There we go, that's along the lines. Bohemian Czech Ruby, £49 for that vase with the, the stag. The luster underneath is a different uh, level to be honest with you guys. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely stunning. Should have been a lot more money than that. Again, not as nice as mine. £38. And again, ruby urn shaped with the uh, engraving back, £49. I can tell you now, mine's going to be going up for £30. We haven't got down to that figure yet, but that's what I'm going to be asking, is £30 quid for mine. And for £3, I'm over the moon, £25 by there. £23. Okay, next piece I've had in, um, probably won't go on eBay, it's not enough value, um, but it is really nice. A nice little terrier, it's produced by Silvac, has the impressed marks here, uh, as well as the ink stamp there. The pattern number is 5027, and it is a terrier. Now, this one cost me £4 in Bessemer Road on the weekend. And I'm going to show you in a minute what they're fetching, but in all honesty, this one will probably be okay to sit on a shelf in the shop until someone comes in and goes, Oh, I got one of those dogs, or I had one of those dogs, I'll have that. Um, it's cheap enough for them to come in and go, Yep, I'll have that, and just pay cash and out they go. But I'll show you now, they don't pull fortunes. 
but either way I'm still happy I bought this and I still buy here we have it guys I've done the search it's the uh, silver Terrier number 5027 and they go from 15 pound 8 pound and a tenner and they sold prices uh, they've dated the year of 1970s so that's where we're at but for 15 pound I'm not gonna bother putting it on eBay it'll be in the shop on a shelf for somebody to uh, just come in who likes dogs so I don't mind that guys that's uh, still gonna give me a nice 10 pound profit and you know it'll look good it'll go on the shelf and it's just something someone can come in and relate to somebody will have one of those dogs in the area local area and they'll buy it or they'll they will have grown up with one or something like that easy sell as animals and for four quid I will not leave it there my final purchase for today's video is a relatively modest one but I wanted to put it in because I want to show you can still get bargains at the end of the day. Now, what I've got is a canteen of cutlery. Now, it is it's a complete set. It's fallen apart. It have as in it's all fallen out of the places. There we go. Hang on where I've been shuffling it around. So it's a full set, and just take the one knife out here. It's this simulated bone handle, but they're not. Uh, they're Sheff made in Sheffield, they are. Um, but what we got is solid silver banding. So sterling silver banding, EPNS, which is silver plate on brass blades, uh, and the simulated bone handle. It's a vintage set, probably from the 50s, something like that, and would have been bought as a wedding present that has never, ever been used. It was bought, put in a box, uh, Sorry, put in the cupboard and forgotten about. Ah, excuse me, hay fever and dust. <laughs> Don't mix. Anyway, this set cost me a princely sum of £2 at the end of the day on the boot sale. Now, I was selling uh, Sunday in Bessemer Road, but I went round buying before I set up. Then, at the end of the day, I went round again and I picked this up for two whole pounds. There's more than that in the silver if I wanted to destroy them. But a solid silver banded set like that, it's got to be 15 or 20 pounds. That's a nice set of cutlery. Vintage, silver banded, two quid. I couldn't leave it there, guys. I really couldn't. Um, we'll have a little look now because I know there's lots of you out there with this type of cutlery. So I'm going to show you some of the prices on there. But don't get excited. This is like a 15 or 20 pound set. Uh, 25 at a push but for me it's a 15 or 20 pound set even with the solid silver bands there's not a lot of silver I have destroyed a couple of these in the past and they tend to range from 1 gram to 2 grams for each band depending on what they are so if you worked it out uh, 12 bands it's like 12 quid of silver uh, 12 grams of silver at 50p a gram it's like 6 quid it's neither here nor there it's very little amount of silver um, but we'll show you now, we'll see if we can find a few sets with silver bands. Okay guys, so I've just searched highest price and all I've searched is silver banded cutlery, that is it. We've got 12 results, £77 the highest, uh, which isn't going to be realistic for what I got. You're talking set of knives there, silver banded, £15. Again, £15 with the silver bands for the knives. So if I said 20 quid for the full set, you know, we're not talking too bad. It's not going to pull fortunes, but, you know, it's boxed. It's a set of six of each, knives and forks. You know, 20 quid it should be doable. So, um, again, as you'll see, uh, or agree rather... Some nice, interesting pieces. Um, I love the golf doorstop, believe it or not. And I love the uh, little Belcher bracelet, or curb bracelet. Um, the rest of it's work in stock as far as I'm concerned. The Blue Mountain uh, Canadian Pottery, you see it everywhere. And because it's not stamped, a lot of people don't know to pick it up. But for a pound a piece, don't leave it there. Really is worth uh, picking up and uh, selling on. There is a market for it, guys. In fact, more of a market for that than the Silvac. 
and people would actually think to pick the Silvac up because it says underneath what it is. But yeah, all in all, um, another nice uh, little haul video. I'm really pleased with the items I've got and it's good shop, uh, shelf fillers for the shop. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed. If you have, I would really, really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep making the videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.